I'm on uh, the president of a board of a halfway house, the oldest operating, continually operating uh, halfway house in the United States called the Lyman House in Wilmington, Delaware. And we save lives. And it's really what we do. We, we break the cycle of addiction. We take people that were in jail and turn them into taxpayers. And people who re re reunite their families. That's mission. You know, and I think we lose that when we get into projects. We lose this idea of, you know, when, when, when we get to this idea of, well, like, why do we exist? We're in an organization that's doing projects, but do we really understand why we exist and what's important to us? One of our clients is CBS Caremark, and they had their internal corporate screen playing when I was up there last month, and it said that they weren't going to run the issue of Rolling Stone in their stores. Anybody know why? Go ahead. Um, the Boston Bomber was on the front cover. The Boston Bomber was on the front cover. What was wrong with those pictures? What did they specifically not like about those pictures? That they felt like it was promoting terrorism. The way they were promoted, and, 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 and they were permitted, and they were prohibited from producing those pictures, and they demonstrated some corporate value, right? What's important to us? What's our ethical approach to how we do business? And at some point, we say, what do we want to be in the future? And that becomes a vision. And when we look at those those visions, the strategies we see have very common themes.